Some people will tell you that 2012 is going to be the eve of destruction, but I'm here to tell you it's actually going to be a very exciting and powerful year for change. Just as you can feel the power at the waterfalls at Niagara Falls, you should be prepared for big changes in your life as well. And I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce to you Haley, Jay, and Sloan. And they're my family members, and they're just wonderful kids. Um, we Yay! Can, we can feel the power of the water. Cancer, Mars will be transiting your third house through July. Now, what you need to do is keep yourself focused and keep your actions organized. You must be efficient and not flighty. Watch, watch what you write and watch what you say and watch where you're going. Don't want to run into anything. Jupiter moves into Taurus and through your 11th house till June. Now, Jupiter expands, and the 11th house is the house of friends and associations. So you can look to advance through your friends or through groups of people that you're a, a member or you associate with. Some dreams may come true. So know what you really want, know what you're dreaming for, because you may get very fortunate. Now, after June, Jupiter moves into Gemini, and it's into your 12th house. The 12th house is the quiet house. It's the deep inside house. So you need to go deep inside to find the wealth of spirituality that you have within your being. And you do have it there. Now, quiet down. Just listen to all the messages that will be brought to you. You might try some prayer, yoga, meditation, anything to quiet you down so that you can listen to what spirit brings to you. Now, Cancer, Saturn's going to be moving through your fourth house till October. And this is the house that rules your sign, or actually your sign rules that house. And what you have to ask yourself is, have you deepened yourself? Have you deepened your feelings about your home, your family, and your heritage? If anything needed to be repaired at home, have you repaired it? This is a good time to do that. Now, your home and family should give you a great sense of security, not a place to hide. The security will allow you to take on the world, and that's something that you do need to do. You need to conquer your inner fears, and then you will have much more strength to go out into the world. Another big thing that's happening is that Neptune is going into Pisces for the first time in 165 years, and this happens in your Ninth house. Woo! I almost missed that one. Now, this can bring great insight into the way people believe. So don't just keep yourself in your own little corner, your own little mind. Open yourself to the belief systems that other people have. If you can open your mind, you can really expand your awareness and expand your understanding, and then you can bring insight and inspiration into your world. One thing, don't be misled by fast-talking people. The fireworks are here, Cancer, as Uranus transits your 10th house and lights it up. <laughs> this can rock your professional world. Yes, you do want to succeed, but you must not be too willful. You must use new technology and your individual talents to help you achieve recognition. Now, the planet Pluto is pushing you to fundamentally change your relationships. This is because Pluto is in your seventh house. Now, you must understand what you have brought to relationships and what relationships have brought to you. If you come before the public in some way, you must watch the letter of the law and do not manipulate or allow others to manipulate you. This can be a very powerful time, so use your networking skills. The conflict between Uranus and Pluto tells you that you must manage how you have used your relationship energy. Now, what are you willing to give to other people on a very deep level? And how have the other people in your life improved your life? Understand this, both in career and in personal relationships, people may come and people may go, but that's because there's new birth coming to you. 
Now that was just a general prediction for your sun sign. If you'd like to know more and more exact information based on your time, date, and place of birth, just go to my website, professorastrology.com, and you can order a transit chart that'll tell you what's coming up for the next 12 months. And it's gonna be a very exciting and powerful year. And remember, this is Jay, this is Haley, and Haley wants to sing, and this is Sloan. Hurry up, Haley, sing! No, well, no she doesn't want her, she's camera shy. Thank you! No!